Looks like the guys are calling me. I'm gonna go chat with them. See what they have to say. Oh, right. So, um, just talked to the concrete guys and <laughs> they got everything poured, so we're gonna go check it out. But he goes, dude, is that your black cat? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, she was in the forms, the ICF block forms. Thankfully, we noticed before we poured and she got out and stuff, but like, dude, um, we almost unfortunately poured her in. I was like, dude, that would not have been cool. So thanks, I appreciate you uh, checking and making sure that my cat wasn't in there. Or not that you would know. So let's go check out our foundation walls. last week's video I was talking about the ICF block foundation that we're doing for the house and basically now it's finished up they poured concrete in here and this thing I think will take about six to seven days to cure fully yeah, got it. foundation is been avoiding talking about because I was hoping that it would resolve itself or in this case it would come home but we got back from Steamboat this week and our chickens Nova and Star were nowhere to be found. We don't know anything. I didn't see any signs of struggle. I, they had food and water. I don't know. They just weren't here. So I think that takes us down to no more chickens. But uh, everyone's handling it okay. It's just a bum freaking deal, man. They live up in the Rocky Mountains. It's like we know there are coyotes around. There are owls, hawks, um, amongst other predators like bears and stuff. But um, we just... You know, I guess we were hopeful, but we'll get more chickens in the spring, just for now. We're chickenless. All right. So, a couple of things are happening right now. Um, yesterday, we were here on the property. Showed you that our foundation got poured, which is freaking great. Um, but. One thing I haven't mentioned is that Ashley has actually been in Steamboat Springs for work this last week. And I came, I started out being there this weekend, then came back to take the kids to school, daycare, all that kind of jazz. And now I'm turning around to go get her, but then I realized something unfortunate. Looks like the cabinet and the van is coming down. I'm afraid that I might come down like on the way to Steamboat. So I'm gonna try to fix it. That gap, it's typically not there. So I'm gonna try to fix it. Okay, I didn't vlog that because it I was in a hurry, but basically I just added some screws in there to the bathroom and now it's like super stuck. Yeah. So all right, long story short, we are heading out to Steamboat to pick up Ashley, and I'm sure she's super ready to be home, and we're super ready to have her home. Funny though, we're doing a little musical chairs for being home because I actually leave tomorrow to go to LA for a work project, 
So I'm picking her up. We're going to Denver. She's dropping me off and she's coming back here. Alright, so we're officially heading out, hitting the road. Steamboat, here we come. Bye, future house.